Number scrimmage number two, two weeks from today, we're on the field, uh, game day. So uh, days are counting down and uh, another I thought really productive scrimmage. Um, different situations uh, from what we probably got into just naturally, uh, not even scripted or um, being intentional. Uh, just uh, you know, a little bit more red zone inside the 10 work uh, that happened at the end. Um, really, again, good give and take. You know, I think the defense uh, continues to they did a good job against the run uh, early. Offense hit a couple explosives. Um, just trying to give you a, 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 an overall summary. Uh, I think, you know, a couple takeaways by the defense, but did a great job of having to make it happen. A uh, tip ball, um, diving player, you know, great play. Uh, so, you know, lo love that from the defensive side that when those plays were to be made, uh, they made them. Uh, I think offensively, on the you know just flip it, uh, some you know pass catches uh, by the receivers, which were extremely competitive, uh, with great defense and coming down with those balls was good to see, and uh, the positioning by the defense was also good to see. So uh, very physical. I thought it was a very physical uh, scrimmage. Probably not even probably. It is definitely the most uh, physical scrimmage we've had since we've been here uh, out of the four or five count in the spring game, and so. Uh, got through relatively healthy some things uh, this week with a couple guys that will hold them probably out uh, for a few practices. But by the end of the week, uh, we should, for the most part, be having the guys that we need to be out there uh, practicing, getting ready for you know week one against Western Kentucky. So um, getting some of the guys back that maybe uh, were dinged up over the last week or two, um, slowly but surely. Um, kept a couple guys out. Just uh, if they had to play, they could have. Uh, a guy like Jam Miller, you know. Um, I know you guys are well aware. Just uh, dinged up uh, a week ago, um, and so just uh, could have gone today if he needed to. Just not uh, not getting too crazy and being smart. So we're getting healthier, I think. Uh, even though we got a few guys dinged up today. Questions? an update on Jaden Roberts and then also just what did you see from the offensive line today? Jaden will be able to play week one. So so he'll be he'll be able to play week one. It won't be anything where he'll be out for he'll be out for a game or anything. And then the, the update on that how did the offensive line look today? Um <clears throat> just with our I think, you know, again I thought it was probably the best give and take uh, as far as pressure, but also just really uh, being able to, you know, kind of dig in and give a, a pocket for the quarterbacks. Uh, when we needed some time, they did it. Um, but there was also some times, much like last week, where the defense you know, got to the quarterback and, and finished drives off. And a lot of times, those are in your third down situations. You know, Third down, back to your wall, back to the wall, um, got home. And uh, so I thought, you know, with uh, running backs, you know, Jam in particular, not really doing anything out there. Um, you know, rotation with some of those guys. Uh, you know, I thought we, we, I thought we were solid. I do think our defensive line uh, is doing a really good job against the run. Over the right with Charlie. Yeah, hey coach, just what did you see from the corners today, and how's that group as a whole kind of come together over the course of the preseason? Yeah, uh, I thought they were really on top of receivers all day long. Uh, you know, they, um, you know, understand their responsibilities in the right position. I'm sure there's a couple clips we can find. I mean, that's always going to be the case where, you know, uh, they they could have been better, but really nothing as far as like busted assignments. Uh, I think they continue to get better each and every day. Uh, you know, they're practicing out there and they really want to do it. There's a there's a high level of want to, and uh, they know a lot of eyes are on them, and so uh, I'm really proud of the way they continue to bring it each and every day. Um, some physicality out there. Uh, I thought they had times when they. Had, Needed to tackle, and they they got guys to the ground. Um, again, got made, laid some hits on some on some uh, you know guys running routes, both uh, receivers, tight ends. So uh, a lot of good things from the, from that group. Uh, they continue to grow. They continue to um, improve each and every day and every, each and every week. Yeah, that right tackle battle. Uh, what do you see out of those guys today? Yeah, it certainly is. Um, you know, just uh, going to be a position, I think, that until we really get to some game time reps, um, I don't know if we'll have it completely ironed out just based on how it's gone so far. Uh, and so, you know, both guys have their strengths and, and things they do really well. And uh, we, you know, those come out and, um, 
you know, it's not like I feel like either of them, either of them are a liability. I think it's just a matter of figuring out which one uh, is going to be our guy. And, uh, they both uh, have done a lot to earn a lot of reps, you know, so I, you know, maybe we'll take that back a week from now if uh, something else continues to evolve where one guy really steps up, but that seems to be the direction it's headed right now. Coach, who's starting to catch your eye in the kickoff return, punt return aspect out there? Yeah, I think, you know, there's a couple, there's a couple different ways you look at it, right? You go with the veterans, um, you know, being around Jeremy Bernard, you know, as a, a returner, uh, he's done them both. You're, you're comfortable with him catching the ball. You're comfortable with him making good decisions, uh, especially, you know, when the ball's on a punt and, and the, the, the punt, punt coverage team is flying down the field. Um, he's going to make those good decisions. Uh, but I really think, you know, we're also trying to bring some young guys. And young guys might be guys that are able to help us this year and maybe be the guys out there even week one. But really is what we want to do is always to be developing players, you know, for the end of the season. Um, you know, those moments, uh, hopefully that you have a few games where, you know, you don't want to send your, your number one guy out there and you have enough, enough trust in your number two, uh, got a lead or something like that. And then also a year from now, two years from now, you just want to have guys that have caught so many balls back there that uh, it's just, you know, you don't even flinch to think about putting them in the game. So, um, you know, we got, Mbakwe back there as a young guy, one of those guys I guess I would refer to. Um, he's been really consistent. Um, you know, Ryan can do some things. We trust him catching the ball. Uh, you know, a K Law could be back there uh, with the explosives he has, especially I think maybe in a kick return, but also in a punt return. Um, you know, there's a few guys, a few others too that we continue to work through. Uh, we try to keep it a bigger pool than we do really trying to narrow it down. So. Just staying with special teams, how much work were you able to get in today on special teams and, and how the kickers and punters look? Yeah, I mean, first of all, Burnup, um, he's had an amazing camp. Um, you know, this spring, the first couple of days, I mean, a lot of, I'm just going to be, I'll be flat out honest, the first couple of days of, of spring ball, um, I thought, man, he got a lot of potential, can be a little more consistent. Uh, you saw it at the end of spring ball, that consistency happened, and then he has been nothing but just phenomenal all camp uh, from day one. So, I, you know, I was interested to see how he'd come through the summer and if he was ready to go, he was definitely ready to go. And uh, he just continues to not just kick it, you know, with great hang time and have distance, but, uh, you know, those specialty areas where you're trying to pin guys, uh, pin people down inside the 10, um, he's been really, really consistent that way too. Um, long snapper, got a veteran there with uh, Neeland. Uh, feel really good about him. And then uh, it's been really good for our kickers to get in the stadium uh, since in, in the last week, for sure. But in the last week and a half, um, they've come over and taken a lot more reps. Um, just the kind of visualization and understanding, you know, depth perception. I know you should, for all of us, right, you should be able to line up. And if it's a 25 or 35 yard field goal, it's just go out there and kick it. But I think there's a lot of visual things. and understanding the inside of the stadium. Um, they continue to do that. Um, you know, on the practice field has been super consistent. So it's just a matter of translating that over here. And I thought this week uh, was a step up, um, not just today, but in the other days when, uh, when they've been coming over here and doing their thing as well, whether it's with the team or, or on their own. Last one up front with Jack. I'm just curious, kind of go back to the corner room. What have you kind of seen from, from Zabian and Brown kind of being, you know, emerging as pushing some of those veterans like Deshaun Jones and Jackson, some of those other guys? Yeah, uh, you know, I think zabian has been someone we've talked about a lot. Um, just, you know, going back even to the spring, uh, his consistency. Uh, he's, he's obviously still young and learning every single day, um, you know, working through his, uh, his injury early on. But I guess I'm super proud of how he's done that. I think there might be some guys that would have uh, – you know, taking themselves from maybe not from practice, but from certain drills or certain reps. Uh, he has certainly shown a toughness about him uh, by going out there and competing and really not not missing anything. Uh, you know, for, as far as what we have you know approved him to do. You know, from a doctor standpoint. So, um, you know, he got a great head on his shoulders. Uh, he's played high level high school ball, and I think that's helped him translate to uh, being able to emerge and come through, uh, you know, here. Uh, Deshaun, um, you know, has more snaps under his belt, you know, and a lot of the, those things show up at times too uh, for him, and it's a huge positive. Um, 
you know, so that group, I think, again, there's there's depth that's continuing to be created. Um, you know, numbers wise, it's one of our smaller groups. We're not, we don't have as many as uh, we normally would have on a, on a, on a regular year, but uh, each of them understand that that's on them and uh, they're bringing it every single day. And uh, Coach Lindquist, I think, has done a tremendous job, you know, trying to balance that confidence that they need to have with just continuing to stay on top of them, push them, um, hold them accountable to a higher, higher standard, higher level every single day. All right, thank you, Coach. All right, thank you, real tight.